determine the baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the date for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World! If you see first, fighting out of the blue corner! This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Dynamite. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. big-time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that man, DC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Straight right, he misses. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Right 
right hand on the counter. But that punch, no good. Well, that'll work. Counter jab to the head by the Korean Super Bowl. Now connects with a right. He blocks the punch. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Both fighters throwing heat now. Plus right hand is true. Right single collar tie now. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. And they separate. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back in range. Nice head kick. Try to establish that jab. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. And he comes through with a big knee. Jab hurts a little bit. Trying to shut the liver down. Oh! All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Just missing on the high kick there. And he landed the right hand there. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Checks that leg kick. Beautiful point. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus fits in his opponent. Connects with a right. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Joy gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Takedown defense holds up. opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Final seconds of round one. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing What an end to round one. All right, so the round is over, and the cut on the bridge of his nose continuing to be a factor. You thought maybe it was getting better, not so much. Blood trickling down, and when the blood starts to trickle down into the mouth and upset the breathing pattern, that's when it starts to really become a factor. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see. These high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Throws the right hand there. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proven prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing. Oh, that's a huge strike right there. I'm not 
short time more than his opponent can take. Massive shot, and he lands. Great job. That one at all. Comes in close, controls the opponent's posture, and lands these nasty elbows. Beautiful strike. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Nice one, two there. Choice torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, effective strike there by Choi. Just missed with the left there. And they separate. Not there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Let's focus. Let's focus now. Nice body. Found the target with that left hand. And they separate. He is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Nice punch, Lance. Escape DC. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Joy gets touched by that kick there. He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Choi's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent... Whoa! So there's the end of the round. You see the cut on his nose, and you have to at least ask the question at this point in time. Maybe he's dealing with a broken nose. You certainly don't want to blow the nose. That will result in the eyes swelling shut. 
but a definite source of adversity here after this round. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. Oh. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. This big shot land. Well, he continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume. Oh! within the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 38 seconds of round number three. Declared the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho So the celebration is on and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue 